Doctor. Thank you for being with me. Today, we're going to be talking about why real estate agents fail. What are the number one reasons that real estate agents fail and what can we do about it? Uh, of course, uh, there's a lot uh, going on uh, with uh, the way we conduct our business right now and the lawsuits uh, uh, that are happening. We're going to talk about that. There's uh, several lawsuits happening uh, right now that you should know about that are going to impact the way that real estate agents operate and, and how we get paid. Um, so we're going to get into how the rules have changed. We're going to get into how the behavior of the prospects have changed. And we're going to talk about how the economy has changed. So all of this is led to massive bloodshed in, in real estate. Um, some are saying one in three real estate agents will be forced out of the business. Uh, so let's get into this. If you haven't already checked in, uh, let me know uh, what city and state you operate, what marketplace you're in, and uh, we're going to um, have a very frank discussion today on what it takes to be successful in real estate. Uh, first of all, if you're not sure why you should listen to me, uh, I was the number one REMAX agent in the world after only having my real estate license for three years. I started off as a failure. I knew nothing about real estate. I'd never sold anything in my life. I dropped out of college. I dropped out of university. The only thing I was good at was not sticking with things. So uh, when I said to my father, I want to get into real estate, my father was a real estate agent for 20 years at the time. Even my own father said, don't do it. Not because he didn't want me to succeed, but my father uh, knew I didn't really stick with things. And he also knew the truth about how difficult it is to be successful as a real estate agent. Well, I did the opposite of what dad told me to do, got into real estate. First year was very, very difficult. Why? Because I made the same mistake that I bet you all of you guys made, which is I looked around at what all the other real estate agents were doing and I copied them. I did what my broker owner told me. I did what they told me to do, which was dumb work, cold calling, door knocking, begging for referrals, sitting in open houses. And that first year, I sold less than 10 houses. I never worked harder in my life. Within uh, three years, though, I would figured this out. I cracked the code on marketing. I came to the realization that there must be a better way. I studied businesses outside of real estate. And within 36 months of having my real estate license, I became the number one REMAX agent in the entire world for commissions earned. Since that time, I've helped over 30,000 agents do what I was able to do. And that's what we're going to help you with here today. So if you like this, please like my page. Uh, please like this. Uh, smash the like button. Please follow my page. Um, please, again, let us know where you're at. I have a gift for all of you at the end of the webinar. If you check in, uh, I'll show you how we can get that. Uh, but hang with us because we're going to have a really good session here today. To be successful as a real estate agent, it really comes down to two things, marketing and skills. Okay, You could have the marketing right, but if you don't have the skills, you're still going to blow it. In other words, if you're not skilled, you don't know what to do when you have um, motivated buyers and sellers coming at you, you're still going to blow it. So you have to have both. And that's what I've been teaching real estate agents for the last 30 years is what is real marketing? What's the difference between marketing and generating leads? Well, here's the difference. You can buy leads. You can go knock on doors. You can say those are leads. No, no. What I'm talking about is attraction. That's what made me successful. Getting buyers and sellers on the strength of my marketing to call me and say, come and list my house. Okay, not the, we're not talking about a bunch of leads you buy on Zillow or leads at your uh, Facebook leads that, that, that not answering the phone. That's your big problem right now, right? People don't know who you are. Not enough people know who you are. And when you're following up with these leads, prospects don't answer the phone. That goes under the category of a behavioral change. How many of you would agree? Let me know in the comments if you've noticed that over the last few years, less and less and less prospects answer the phone. Well, that's a problem for us. If you agree with this, it's a problem because what we've been taught in real estate is, you know, buy the lead or generate the lead, and then you follow up with the lead on the phone. And the reason you're calling them is to try to get an appointment so you can tell them how good you are and, and hopefully they'll hire you. Well, it's completely not going to work for you as well, obviously, because people aren't answering the phone. Uh, but there is a better approach. You see, today, with video, we can tell the whole world what we do. We don't need to call them to tell, we, tell them what we do. And we certainly don't need to meet with them at the kitchen table 
to um, share what we do. So we teach you how to say to the world on video, creating omnipresence with social media and through other means, so your world knows who you are. They understand what makes you different and they understand what makes you better. And the marketing is so good that they call you and they say, come and get me. Now, you may call BS on this. You may say, well, this sounds too good, but, but look it. I have created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or trainer. I know in the coaching world, everybody says they're number one. Uh, and you know, But let's look at the truth here. Nobody sold more homes than Craig Proctor. I sold over 10,000 homes. I was the number one REMAX agent in the world. No other coach can say that. A lot of these coaches haven't even sold real estate before. They don't have my track record as a real estate agent, and they certainly don't have my track record as a coach. Because um, if they had my track record, believe me, they would be telling you about it. They would be giving you the specifics. If you go to my website, craigproctor.com, you click on testimonials, you'll see dozens and dozens of testimonials. You can hear their words, my clients saying, here's how Craig took me from $100,000 a year to $4 million in GCI or from zero to $3 million. You can hear who they are. You can Google them. None of this, uh, we give you their first name and an initial, and we say they're in California, so we'll be sure that you could never find them. No, no, I have the track record. We give you the specifics. So you're in good hands here. You can trust me. I've created more millionaires. I know how this business works. I've been doing it longer than these other guys as well. So you got to have the marketing and you got to have the skills. That's what we teach you to do. This is about attraction, okay? Marketing should be about attraction. This is not about you just generating leads. How many of you would agree? Let me know in the comments if you find that paying for leads, generating leads has been very frustrating because nothing happens. If you pay for 100 leads, maybe what? You get three or four on the phone, right? And the other 95 or 96 go into your database as an unconverted lead, never to be called again, never to be reached. It's very inefficient. So we're not going to do it that way. The next step after we have a business coming at us is conversion. Okay, how do we convert the leads? Well, gee, Craig, you just said a minute ago, we can't reach them on the phone. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a series of automation things that happen when the business comes in because some of the people that call you will not be ready to list their house today. They might be, you know, two weeks out or two months out or a year out. So we have a series of automatic things that happen. Now, here's the cool thing about automatic. Here's the question. How many homes could you sell if it had nothing to do with you? A hell of a lot of houses, right? If it had nothing to do with you. That's why I was able to sell five, 600 homes every single year. Now, yes, I had a team, uh, but it allowed me to have freedom, okay? So I could have a life outside of my real estate business and still be highly successful. That's what you want. Now, before we talk about the team, we've got to get you in a position where you have overflow, well, you've got so much business coming at you that you can't possibly work with all the buyers and sellers. Now, I know there's a lot of coaches out there giving really bad advice, saying things like, oh, you, you know, the, to be successful, you need to run out and hire a team. Nope. All you're doing is splitting your income. If you don't have enough business for you, why the hell would you hire a team and, and split your listing commission, giving listings away to someone on your team when you can handle that business? That's how you get a pay cut. That's not how you make more money. So uh, listen to Craig Proctor on this advice. So we've got attraction marketing. So they're calling you, you're not calling them. And then we have automation, we have emails, we have retargeting, we have videos that come at them that create omnipresence. Okay, so everyone in the world lives in a bubble. We wanna make sure that in your prospects bubble in this little world that they live in, all they see is you. And not just seeing you, because there's a lot of BS about that. Well, you just got to create an awareness. No, they got to know who you are, but they must understand what makes you different and better than all the other choices. Are you able to answer that question? Do you have unique offers? Are you offering buyers and sellers stuff that they really, really want that they can't get anywhere else but you? That's the key. I'm going to repeat it again. You want to write that down. You need to be offering stuff that buyers and sellers, number one, they really, really want. Not stuff they don't want. Maybe some of you are offering things they don't want. Or how about this? You're offering stuff they don't need you to get it. A lot of agents are still um, 
you know, their big offer to buyers is like, hey, uh, I can, if you work with me, I'll get you access to the listings as they come on the internet. No, they don't need you for that. They know they don't need you for that. The buyers do not believe that they need a real estate agent to find them homes that are on the internet that they can find themselves. So obviously, if that's your big offer to buyers, is I'm going to get you access to homes that you can Google on your own, the buyers, believe me, they would rather do the research and get the information without a salesperson. So you think it's an advantage, they think it's a disadvantage. It's like, hey man, if I can get the information without speaking to a salesperson, I'd rather do it that way. So would you. What do you do when you want to buy a car or any big ticket item? You do a little bit of research first. You don't call the salesperson first. You probably know more about the car you want to buy before you go to the dealership. You might know more about the car you want to buy than the salesperson does. Plus, you don't trust the salesperson, right? It's like, well, maybe that car salesperson will just try to sell me whatever car they have or whatever car will make that salesperson the most amount of money. Well, a lot of buyers fear that with real estate agents. It's like, well, maybe the real estate agent will uh, steer me. Maybe the real estate agent will just try to sell me what they have or try to sell me a home that makes them the most amount of money. Or the real estate agent won't tell me about other houses uh, where they're not going to make as much money. So the buyers, they lack that confidence. It's like, you know what? I'll do as much as I can on my own. So what's the other thing that we've been taught to offer buyers? Well, not only do I find you the homes that are on the internet, but I also, I'm a great negotiator and I'll, nope, they don't believe it. They don't believe that you're going to get them a better deal than they could get on their own. Now that they have access to all the homes on the internet and they believe they can find their home on their, by themselves, here's what they also believe. I could probably do better by going directly to the listing agent. I know who the listing agent is. It's on the internet here. I'm going to go around you. I hear you're a good negotiator. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm going to go directly to the listing agent. I can probably negotiate a better deal. Now, look, I'm not saying they're right. I'm just saying this is what many of the buyers believe. How many of you would agree? Smash the like button. Are we on to something? Are we speaking the truth here? I don't want to give you like happy stories. And look, we got to deal with the real world here. Okay, now here's the other issue. Most real estate agents can barely convince the buyer to pay them zero dollars because they're being compensated by the listing agent and the seller. Let me repeat it again. Most real estate agents today have a hard time convincing the buyer to work with them for zero dollars. The buyer doesn't have to pay anything right now. What do you think is going to happen when the buyer broker fee goes away, when it's not being paid by the seller or through the listing agent, and now the buyer actually has to be able to articulate their value to the buyer and convince the buyer to pay them. What do you think is going to happen there? Bloodshed. Most of these agents don't have the skills. Remember, I said it's marketing and skills. I have been teaching my coaching clients for eight years how to never work with a buyer without a buyer agency agreement in place and how to negotiate your fee directly with the buyer. Well, how do you do that? Yes, there's a way to do this. The buyer pays the fee. And the reason we started doing this eight years ago is because we noticed that the fee going to the buyer was getting lower and lower and lower, right? It used to be 3%, 2.5%. I know we're not allowed to talk about fees. Well, guess what? Here's what I coach you to do. I try to coach you to make as much as you can. That's my job. I want you to be able to articulate enough value, not tricks, not manipulating people, but to articulate real value to your buyers and sellers so they see what you're worth. We're worth the money, but not if you don't have the skills, not if you're not coached up on how to do this. What happens is you become a commodity agent, right? You go in there and you say, well, this is what I do. And it sounds like everybody else and the buyers and sellers say to you, well, uh, somebody else will do it for less. They don't see that value. You might know you do a good job, but you don't have the ability to communicate that so your prospects both understand it and they believe it. They have to understand it, but they have to believe in it or you're going to struggle. Maybe you'll be the one in three agents that are forced out of the business. Okay, so we've talked about attraction versus lead generation. We've talked about instead of making phone calls, chasing people, having automatic, uh, automatic conversion emails, videos, 
text messages, things that happen automatically to follow up with the leads. So you're doing such a great job of telling your story. So many people know who you are, but on top of that, they understand what makes you different and better. There's an old saying in marketing, if everybody understood you and everyone believed you, they would all be your clients. For example, right now, I'm giving you a presentation. It's a pretty good presentation, right? If you think so, if you agree, smash the like button. Okay, make sure you follow this page. But I am giving you a presentation right now, and I'm not sitting at your kitchen table. I didn't pick up the phone and call you. I didn't have to call you and say, hey, I'm Craig Proctor. I'm a real estate coach. Here are my credentials. Here's what makes me different and better. We're doing it right now, and thousands of real estate agents will watch this training. Well, this is what we teach you to do, okay? We teach you what to say, what to do, and how to do this to create omnipresence. So you're not dealing with, oh, I got to call hundreds of people. Nobody picks up the phone. And the one or two that do pick up the phone, uh, I got to sell them on me. I got to convince them. Nope. That is all done for you. How do you think I sold 10,000 homes? How do you think I go from being a nobody in real estate, a failure in the first year, to within 36 months being the number one REMAX agent in the world? That's very public, well-documented track record. None of the other coaches have that. Go ask them. Oh, yeah, I'm number one. Yeah, number one at what? How many homes did you sell? How many? Show me the hundreds and hundreds of agents you've created millionaires. Not they came to you already making a million dollars. They came to you making nothing. And you showed them how to make millions of dollars a year. That's what we're talking about. Look, there can only be one number one coach. Okay? Someone's telling you the truth. And there's a lot of pretenders out there. It's going to be up to you guys to decide um, who you're going to get your advice from. The visit to the house should be just to get the listing signed and looked at, look at the house. I'm going to say this again. Right now, you think, well, you know, the reason I go to their house is I got to do this presentation, this dog and pony show. Nope. They're already sold on you. By the time you get to the house, they're already calling you, basically saying, come and get me. So why are you going to the house? Two reasons. To look around at the house and get the listing agreement signed. That's it. Okay, that's how good the marketing is. And the stronger your marketing is, the more that's going to happen. And right now, if it's hard for you to get the listing signed, you know, you got to do this big, long listing presentation, this big, long song and dance. And at the end of the presentation, uh, you're faced with all kinds of objections and you've got to twist their arm. That just tells me your listing presentation isn't strong enough. Okay, if at the end of the listing presentation, they're not saying, where do I sign? Then you know your presentation isn't strong enough. So the presentation, the heavy lifting needs to be done online because that's where they're looking. That's what they're, if the, if we were all going out to a, a restaurant that we'd never been to tonight, what would we do? We would Google it. We'd look at the reviews, right? We would check it out. That's what people do. This is how people shop for things. How many of you would agree? You buy any big ticket item, the first thing you're going to do before you call the salesperson, before you call the car dealership, you're going to start to do a little bit of research. Once they step into your world, okay, they're going to be pixeled and they're going to be retargeted. And we're going to do very specific things. So guess what? You can't fail. That's where the skills come in. Now, when I teach you the skills of what to do and what to say and how to present yourself, when this works, it builds confidence. Can you see how confident I am with what I'm saying to you? Because I have 30 years of proof that this works, not only for my own business, but for thousands of other agents that I've helped create millionaires. So I know this works. I'm able to speak with conviction. But for example, when I first got into list, uh, real estate, uh, I had no confidence, right? So my mindset was like, oh my God, they're probably not going to list with me. Why would they list with me? But through success and you're gaining confidence, you're able to speak with conviction, the mindset goes from, I don't think they're going to list with me to, I, I can't believe they would not list with me. That's the kind of conviction. You're good and you know you're good. We got to get everybody to that point. And that happens, that confidence grows because people are coming at you. They're saying, can you help me? Can they help me? And the opposite is true. If you're doing a bunch of degrading stuff, you're cold calling, you're door knocking, you're faced with rejection all day long, all the crap that they're telling you to do, that beats down your confidence, right? You don't feel good about yourself. So 
This isn't just about how you make more money. It's how you feel about yourself. Now, I want to offer you guys a consultation. Okay. I want to help you guys get this implemented. It's a free call. It's actually on Zoom. If someone could type in proctorconsult.com, proctorconsult.com, I'm going to ask you some questions. We'll do a short Zoom uh, interview and I'll show you how this will, I'll prove to you this will work for you. And if you're interested, you'll do it. If you're not, it doesn't cost you any money. Just keep doing what you're doing. So if someone could type into the comments below, proctorconsult.com, that's how you get more information on this. Now, I promised you if you stay to the end of this, I also have a free gift for you, which I'll get to in a minute. But look at the points that we've covered. The number one reason real estate agents fail. Well, how many real estate agents fail? Well, here's the truth. 80% of real estate agents do not make it to their fifth anniversary. That's before the rule changes. Now, remember this lawsuit? Check out all the other lawsuits. I printed them all out here. Okay, so uh, we've got the Moeller uh, lawsuit. Uh, that case is uh, playing out in Illinois. It's expected to go to trial in 2024. Um, as with the Sizzler, Burnett, uh, Anywhere, and Remax have already submitted proposals to settle that one. Then we've got the Gibson lawsuit, filed minutes after the Sitzer Burnett verdict on October 31st by the same legal team uh, representing home sellers. Uh, uh, oh, and they're after, uh, they're going after Compass, EXP, Redfin. Uh, then we have another lawsuit called the Batten One. It's a New Jersey case that began in early 2021. Then we have the Batten Two, which was filed on November 2nd, 2023 against Compass, EXP. Uh, then we have uh, the Burton lawsuit filed in South Carolina on November 6th by home sellers against Nar and Keller Williams. Um, then we have the March, like the month, March lawsuit filed in New York City on November 7th, 2023 by a home seller against the Real Estate Board of New York, R-E-B-N-Y, and more than two dozen real estate companies. Then we have the Nozilic lawsuit filed in 2020 by home sellers against the MLS Property Information Network called MLS PIN, and they're also suing Anywhere Home Services and Affiliates, Remax, Keller. Do you guys see what's going on here? These lawsuits, by the time I'm finished with this lawsuit, this list will be outdated because there'll be even more lawsuits. In fact, I got a text from a buddy of mine last night. Let's see if I can pull it up. And he said they're starting to, te uh, they're starting to, this was in Texas, they're starting to sue large real estate teams and brokerages. Uh, so here it is. Uh, Texas Commission lawsuit names real estate teams Individual brokers as defendants, the latest Realtor Commission lawsuit doesn't just go after corporate brokerage, it names individual brokers, real estate teams, and local real estate associations. Guys, the business is changing. Get with Craig Proctor. Book yourself a free consultation. Uh, where did I say you need to go to? You need to go to proctorconsult.com. Okay, proctorconsult.com. I've been doing this for 30 years. Everything is changing here. Number one, the economy changed. Yep, no longer is money running down the street. Interest rates are at a 26-year high. You need to learn how to get your marketing act together. Number two, the behavior of the prospects have changed. They don't want to answer the phone. They don't want to meet with you. You better tell them online who you are, what you got, what makes you different or better, or you're never going to be able to survive this marketplace. And number three, now the rules have changed. Yep, for 60 years, the buyer didn't have to pay any commission like it was paid through the listing agent that's how we did it everything was cool for 60 years and all of a sudden now it's not i think we all agree if you're paying attention look at all these it's just getting more lawsuits every day not less this is going to change the way it works and guess what this is the way it works in every other company country rather uh, look at australia australia when you list a house they have this like nat uh, national website where all the ho houses are, are posted much like zillow um, but there are no buyer agents you could have a buyer agent if you want one but you have to pay out of pocket so most buyers don't do that right most buyers don't do that they're like well you know what i'll just call the person with the sign on the front lawn i was talking to a lady that runs my facebook ads uh, just this week about this, she bought a $2 million home last year. And I said to her, 
um, how much did your real estate agent make when you bought your $2 million home? She goes, well, I don't know. Like, I didn't pay it. I said, well, you kind of did. But came, it came out of the proceeds of the sale. But your agent, um, now, if you were to buy that house, let's say next year, maybe you would have to pay your agent directly. And your agent on that $2 million home got paid $120,000 or $60,000. Okay, they got paid uh, probably two and a half or three percent. So at least 50 or $60,000. She's like, oh my gosh. I said, so if you had to pay your agent, when you buy, if you were to buy that same $2 million home next year and you had to pay your agent, would you do that? Or would you just call the listing agent? She's like, well, I'll have to think about that. I said, well, a lot of buyers will probably just pay the, pay the listing agent. Think about the first time buyers. First time buyers work to save up all this money and now they're told, well, if you want to have your own representation, it's going to cost you 30 or 40. They're like, well, that's my, that's my down payment. Like, that's what I've saved for years. So they'll probably just call the listing agent. Wouldn't you guys agree? So I said to uh, my, my friend here, I said, if you were to buy that house next year, um, would you pay the agent $50,000 to, to represent you? Well, I'd rather have representation, she said. Um, well, what value did your buyer? Well, maybe my buyer agent saved me some time. And, you know, I'm a busy person. So if my buyer agent did the paperwork and saved me time, uh, I, I suppose that's worth something. I said, well, what, what number figure would you put on that? She said, I don't know, maybe five grand. I said, well, we're a hell of a long way apart because your agent was paid 50 grand last year. And you're saying you'd prefer to have an agent represent you when you're buying a home, but it's worth $5,000. Do you see the spread? So even if agents negotiate their fee, good luck getting 50 or $60,000, right? Now, do you notice my friend didn't say, well, I need a buyer agent to help me find the house. The buyers do not believe they need a real estate agent to find the house. What they do believe is I'd rather find it myself. I know when um, we bought our house in Florida, this is back in 2007, uh, my wife found the house uh, online in Toronto, in my, sitting in our kitchen. She found the house. Now, we had an agent represent us who showed us a whole bunch of homes that we did not like. Guess what house we ended up buying? The house my wife found online sitting in Toronto we bought that house in Florida, okay? So if our big value proposition offer to buyers is, oh, we're going to help you find a house, good luck with that. If your big offer is, well, I'm a great negotiator, a lot of these buyers are like, you know what? If I got to pay you 50 grand, I'll take my chances. I'd rather deal directly with the listing agent. You're going to have to learn to up your game. Now, I'm going to repeat this again. I've been teaching my members for eight years how to negotiate their fee directly with the buyer. Now, you can be a naysayer, but here's how it works, okay? Because I don't care whether you believe me or not, this is what we're doing. Um, to deal with my top members, here's what a buyer must do. They must um, sign a buyer agency agreement for at least six months. They must pay a $1,000 upfront retainer fee, and we negotiate our fee, whatever you want to negotiate, 2.5%, 3%, 3.5%, and... The buyer is responsible for any shortfall. So if the listing agent's paying three and our buyer contracts for three and a half percent, the buyer's responsible for the one half percent deficiency. If that listing, um, uh, listing if, if there's zero now being paid, then the buyer's going to pay the whole works, the three percent, the three and a half percent, whatever you negotiate. Now, the reason you're not doing this is because you don't know how to do it. That's why you're very concerned with what we're talking about here today. You know this is true. Let's go over all the changes. Economy, that's kicked the crap out of you, right? Things have changed. Money isn't running down the street anymore. Money isn't free. Sales are off by 30%. Okay, a lot of people that own a home, they're like, well, I'm not going to move right now. Well, I've got a 3% mortgage. No, I'm not going to move. So we've got a lot of homeowners that are locked in. They're like, the best deal I'm ever going to get in a mortgage is the house I already live in. So you got that working against you. First-time buyers are priced out of the market. Interest rates at 7 No, they can't do it, right? So sales are way down, okay? Then you got the fact that the buyers and sellers don't see as much value in us as we used to, as they used to, okay? You can not believe it. You can not like it. That's cool. But what are you going to do about it? You better get coached up if you want to survive. And here's what's going to happen. The top agents will survive and they'll do better. Let's be honest. We could probably get rid of 30% of the agents, no problem 
right? Most real estate agents, they spend most of their day not helping clients anyway. They spend most of their day looking for clients to help. With the Craig Proctor system, that goes away. You're no longer wasting all this time trying to find people to help. You're just spending your time helping people because I know what I'm doing. I understand what it is that buyers and sellers want. Not offering what I think they want or what they used to want. Sure, they used to need you to find a home. Not anymore. They don't see any value. They used to need need you to negotiate. Now they, uh, they actually believe they can get a better deal without you. I'll just go with a listing agent. Boom, I'm saving 3% right away. Wait until you've got to say to the buyer, hey, how much do you want to pay me? I'm not saying you won't get paid, but you think they're paying you fifty or $60,000 to buy a $2 million home, one they found by themselves on the internet? Um, good luck. It's going to be more difficult, absolutely for sure. That's why it's even more important now than ever before to be a really great listing agent. Here's what's probably going to happen on the listing side. You will be able to get 4%. You might be able to get 5%, but you keep it all. You're not splitting it. You're not giving any to the buyer broker. Why? Because you're not allowed to. You're legally not allowed to do that. Now, there's an argument that, that the seller will be cool with this because they're not. the seller's not paying any more. They've always been paying whatever, four or five. The difference is you've been giving half to the buyer broker. But if the buyers are going to be calling the listing agent now directly, there's an argument that you're worth more, right? Because you're doing more work. Not only are you doing the listing side of it, but you've got most of the buyers now not wanting their own agent or not, they might want their own agent, but not prepared to pay for it. And so now you're double ending most of your properties, which opens up another can of worms. Like, what are they going to do with that? So things are changing. Now, you can either wait to get your guidance from your broker or your franchise. And by the way, your broker and your franchise are getting sued. That's what's happening right now. Look at the, all these lawsuits. Like, it, it, there's dozens of them out there and every day there's more of them, right? So you can get your guidance from the people that are being sued or you can go to the person that's created more millionaires than anybody else. And I have led the charge. I was doing buyer agency agreements before they existed. There was no buyer agent uh, agency agreements uh, even uh, created by the Real Estate Association when I started doing it. I created my own. Was it legal? Yes, it was an agreement between me and the buyer. We have been getting the buyers to pay us directly now for eight years. For eight years. There's a book I wrote on it. It was published back in 2015, 2016. And you can get the book on Amazon. The title of the book, it's called The Death of the Traditional Real Estate Agent and the Rise of the Super Profitable Sales Team. The Death of the Traditional Real Estate Agent and the rise of the super profitable sales team. You can get it on Amazon. So if you guys are liking this, if you think I'm speaking the truth, if this resonates with you, please smash the like button or maybe give me a little heart, okay? And make sure you like this page, that you're following this page rather, because if you're following this, every time I go live, you're gonna be on it, okay? You're gonna get my stuff. Now, the free gift. I have, right now, we are on my business Facebook page, okay? And I've done a pretty good presentation, didn't cost you a penny. The call, free call with me that I'm offering also cost you zero dollars. You can say no to this, you can turn your back on it, but you don't know what you're turning your back on. Why not check it out, okay? Do you believe that I sold over 10,000 homes? Do you believe I was the number one agent for Remax in the world within 36 months? Do you believe I've created more millionaire agents than anyone else? Go to craigproctor.com. Click on testimonials, watch the videos, hear these people, their words, and we give you their full names and where they're located. You can Google them, you can call them. Not like these fake coaches with fake testimony, little picture, and then they make up words, and it's from John S. in California. Well, how am I going to call that guy? John S. How many John S.'s are there in California? It's because this is real. Here's my free gift to you. I have a private Facebook group. Now, I only invite people that have watched me on into, because I want you to know a little bit about me. I don't want you to join this just because you're looking for something to do. If you're a serious realtor, please, if you're not serious, do not do this. If you're a serious realtor, I want you to type into the comments below, private group, private group, and I'll get you an invitation to my private group. I've got about 8,000 realtors, top realtors in there that share success stories. Now, here's a warning, full disclosure. This is going to serve me. When you start mixing with thousands of other Craig Proctor superstar agents that are making millions of dollars a year, um, you're going to be convinced. 
Okay, so this is a really good idea for me to throw you in a group of Craig Proctor millionaire agents who will say to you, yes, Craig Proctor is the reason why I am here where I'm at now. Here's where I used to be, and I've been with Craig, and here's what's happening now. That serves me, but guess what? It also serves you because you've got social proof. You need to believe in a leader. Right now, you need someone to that, that you can lean on that's been there before that's going to give you really good advice. The last thing you need right now is to get advice from a pretender. There are all kinds of pretenders, past students of mine. Some of them used to work for me. Some of them used to schlep around and do seminar. Look at these guys um, were trained by me. If they're good, they're good because they were trained by me. If they sound like me, it's because they were trained by me. Okay. Why don't you just go directly to me? Why go to them? Go directly to the source where the other coaches come to get their training and we can help you. I'm looking for success stories, folks. I'm good. I don't need your money. Okay, do the math. 10,000 homes I've sold. Average commission, let's just say nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. I'm in Toronto, so more than that. But you do the math. You think I need to do this? No, I like doing this. I want to help you. I need success stories. So um, let me know if you haven't checked in what marketplace you're in, the city, the state, or the city and the province that you're in. Let's get you involved. Don't you want to get excited about this? You've got to come into my world for me to help you. All I'm going to do is push great content out and you're going to consume it. And then you can decide, is Craig Proctor the right guy for me? I want to thank you so much for being with me today. Remember, private group, if you want to get inside the doors, even better, book the call with me. Let's get to know you. Let's spend a half an hour on a Zoom so I can show you how this works. Don't turn your back. Don't be a naysayer. Just check it out. Once you check it out, if it's not for you, you can say to yourself, great, due diligence. I listened to the guy. I checked it out. It's not for me. Believe me, once you see this, you're going to be convinced. Thank you so much for watching this, and we'll see you again next time. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're going to see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.